Hi everyone, I'm here at scrapbook.com. My name is Frank Garcia with Prima and I am going to show you how to get started on your book. So I know sometimes it's very intimidating to get started, but trust me, it's really easy. So you, all you need is your book. We're gonna kind of get this started. Now you can definitely leave this um, in a craft color, but you know, I like to paint mine in different colors. And um, today we're gonna go ahead and paint it uh, with this ivory paint. Um, I like to use just acrylic paint. Any metallic paint can work as well. Um, anything that you like really works. So I'm gonna be using this paint right here from Pentart. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on my mat. And I just want to go ahead and give it a light coat because this is a chipboard book after all. So I'm just going to get it started down here and make sure that I have a about one inch border around my page. And of course, you know, I kind of got this a little started early um, just so that I could show you how easy it is to get it painted. And we're doing a shabby chic book today, so it's going to be pretty simple um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the beauty of doing it uh, shabby chic. You kind of have those really pretty imperfections throughout the book and that's what make, makes it really beautiful and handmade. So I'm just gonna swipe some of this paint on here. Make sure I get the edges. And you can see this chipboard is really nice. It really absorbs the paint really nicely. You don't have to do too much struggling or anything like that to get this painted and you can paint it any color you want now once you paint your book okay i'm just gonna let it sit to the side here for a minute and let it dry and i want to talk about some of the things that i use to get it started so tape i use artisan tape this is my tape that i have with prima and it comes in different sizes so it comes in two inch one inch five eighths half inch and quarter inch now why does it come in all these sizes because Many albums require different sizes for pockets, flaps, anything like that. But I use the one inch a lot for bigger albums because you can always cover more area with one inch as well as the two inch. So we're gonna use this for our front cover, our sides, our back of our album. It makes it, you know, so that it lasts a long time. You want your books to last because you're already spending all this time making it. So make sure it lasts. This is an archival tape, so it'll last a long time. It's heat resistant and you can use it with glitter, all kinds of stuff, which we're gonna you know, show you later on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one inch. So I went ahead already and cut out my paper. I'm using my Love Story collection. So if you've seen that collection floating around, um, it's a really beautiful collection. And I've already pre-cut some of this paper. I love this collection, it's just so beautiful. It, it's inspired by Paris and all things love. You guys know I love Paris, so it's just, a representation of my love for Paris. But it's also about, you know, it's just telling your everyday love stories, right? So I went ahead and cut all the paper out. It's really easy. I just went ahead and used my trimmer. So now we're gonna go ahead and adhere the paper onto the book, which is really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my paper. I've already pre-cut it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere it with my artisan tape. Now, don't mind the beautiful foil. I know everybody loves the foil, but we're just gonna cover a little bit of that and we're gonna use some of the foil inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of my artisan tape. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right to the edge of the paper there. Make sure you adhere it really well. I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that out. Now you don't need a lot of this tape if you don't want to, but I like to make sure that my paper is all the way down. So I'm just gonna put a couple of strips in here. So I'm gonna take this one here and I'm gonna go ahead and center it on my book. So I'm just gonna take this and do this and center it as best as possible. Okay, so you can see how pretty that looks. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna flip it to the back and I'm gonna do the same thing. I have another piece of my love story paper here and I'm using 12 by 12 sheets. So you can definitely use any paper size you like. A4 size works well too. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the back now. Now the only thing with this tape that you have to know is that it's, once it's on, it's on. So it's really hard to peel it off once it's on. So this is really a commitment. You have to commit to the paper and the book, okay? So don't change your mind if it's a little crooked. It's okay, it's handmade. That's what we always say, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my next piece and this is gonna be for my sides. And I'm only gonna need a couple of strips for this one because it's a smaller piece. And these are gonna go on the side of the book. 
And of course you could always use the wider tape if you want to, but I like doing the smaller strips because I feel like I have more control that way. I don't um, have a bigger, wider tape um, that sometimes can get in the way or um, the bigger tape is good for mixed media projects, I think, like if you're covering a big canvas or something like that. So I'm gonna go in on the side and center this as best as I can. There we go. I'm gonna flip it to the side and peel this backing off. And I wish I could come up with a way to use these because I always have a lot of them. So if someone can come up with a good idea for those, let me know. All right, so we got our book covered. You can see how perfect and beautiful it is. Now, once you get it covered, you can go ahead and paint the inside as well. You can see I've already um, painted all of the inside. I have all of my pages painted and you can tell it's not really pretty right now, but once we finish, it'll be pretty. Um, and it's kind of shabby chic, so you don't have to worry about it being perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more thing with my artisan tape real quick. I have a piece of chipboard here that I went ahead and cut out. It's slightly smaller than the cover, so you can see it'll be about this size. And of course, the backdrop of the paper is just a little layer, okay? So don't worry about it too much if it gets covered. I like building layers. So I'm gonna take my chipboard and I'm gonna take my artisan tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on the edges. and you'll have four sides of tape. Now you'll see that I overlapped them a little bit and that's um, done purposely so that there's no gaps in between the actual tape strips, okay? And I'm gonna show you here what the next part is. So I'm gonna be using some Ranger Distress Glitter Dust. This is a really pretty glitter that I like to use a lot. I'm gonna take a little pan and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some glitter. So you can see how easily the glitter applies onto the tape, and that's just because this is really good double-sided tape. Um, and it's perfect for glitter. It's perfect for all kinds of little tiny embellishments like this. So I'm just gonna go around and add some of that glitter. I'm gonna take my book back again, and I'm gonna go ahead and foam tape this on the cover, okay? And then we're gonna build from here, we're gonna build some layers and add some embellishments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more from scrapbook.com, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a message. Happy crafting.